Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, to strive later once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We are meeting once again in yet another classic inside the Word of God and praying that the Spirit of His grace and mercy, His love and protection continues giving you the wings of flexibility, the wings of salvation. We are given total freedom of enjoying the salvation and the sacrifice that our Lord Jesus Christ suffered for, the sacrifice that our Lord Jesus Christ was crucified for, just for the sake of you, so that you enjoy the fruits of salvation. Today, I want to present yet another end time message that is part of the last ministration in the scriptures and I want to present the seven trumpets this is the message that the Holy Spirit gave me so that I unbungle the message that is already in the scriptures, the awareness and explain the season of the seven trumpets. The seven trumpets have already been blown. Not all of the trumpets have been blown, but they are being blown in different seasons and those seasons they represent different incidents those seasons they represent different plagues different distractions different outcomes that reflect the significance of each and every trumpet that has already been blown. So I'm going to be checking into scriptures and I'm praying that the Holy Spirit will make this message of relevance in your ears so that you may understand who are the seven trumpets and which are the seven trumpets and what is their significance, their reference and their meaning. Let us go to the book of Revelations, chapter 8, verse 1. And when he had opened the seventh seal, there was silence in heaven about the space of half an hour. And I saw seven angels which stood before God. These seven seals that have been opened they also represent seven dimensions or seven chapters that represent also the fate of this earth, the fate of humanity, the fate of everything that is under the sun. And those seven seals that were opened, they contain the secrets that are inside the fate of each and every event that is defined by the significance of the seven trumpets. And I saw seven angels which stood before God, and to them they were given seven trumpets and another angel came and stood at the altar having a golden censer and there was given unto him much incense that he should offer it with the prayers of all saints upon the golden altar which was before the throne of god and the smoke of the incense which came up with the prayers of the saints ascended up before god 
out of the angel's hand. This angel that is representing the first trumpet holding a censer and offering it with the prayers of all the saints represents the angel of mercy, the angel of grace, the angel that was unleashed for a season where the gospel is allowed to spread, where the gospel is allowed to reach each and every one of us, where the gospel is allowed to penetrate the hearts of many and you are given a choice either to repent or to perish and that angel represents a season which we are already in a season where our lord jesus christ has allowed preachers to manifest in different cities different nations different continents for the sake of planting the word of God everywhere and those that will heed unto the voice of God unto the word of God they shall be saved and the angel took the sense and filled it with fire of the altar and cast it into the earth and there were voices voices representing teachings voices representing different ministries voices representing the seven churches and the thunderings and lightnings and the earthquake and the seven angels which at the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound the first angel sounded and there followed hail and fire mingled with blood and they were cast upon the earth the introduction of the first angel comes just after the earth has been given an opportunity to repent the introduction of the first angel comes after the earth has been given the liberty and the salvation and the grace a passage to seek the lord a passage to be spared from all the wrath and when the first angel blows his trumpet there's fire mingled with blood the fire that is mingled with blood it is the wrath that comes after the ministration and they were cast upon the earth and the third part of the trees was bent up and all the green grass was bent have you not seen how nature is dying have you not seen the birds that used to freely fly and descend wherever and whenever they are now in scarcity have you not seen that the minerals that you used to pick up the minerals that could be dug easily they are no longer available the earth is slowly losing its strength and the first trumpet that has been blown is a warning that is coming after the gospel has already been preached a warning unto the earth that the earth is losing its strength the earth is losing its glory that it was given in the first place even fruit that is meant to be given in its due season is no longer there. The earth is lacking. It is a sign of the last minutes, the last moments, the last hour. And the second angel sounded, and as it were a great mountain burning with fire was cast into the sea, and the third part of the sea became blood. In part of the seven miracles that Moses did, this part of the miracle that Moses did, 
the sea becoming blood representing the multiple killings representing the matters on earth the plagues the diseases this is the second trumpet which represents the chaos the mayhem that will fall upon the earth and the second trumpet also blowing to give a reference and the sign of the last hour through its own fashioned multiple destructions and the third part of the creatures which were in the sea which had life all died and the third part of the ships were destroyed that season is where the earth is watching some natural destructions all those being natural and national international disasters falling upon the earth and falling upon all those that are under the sun and the third angel sounded and there fell a great star from heaven burning as it were a lamp and it fell upon the third part of the rivers and upon the fountains of the waters and the name of the star is called Wemut. this star that fell it fell with the third of angels and it is it fell with the third part of angels it is being defined in a parabolic lang language that it was defined as wormwood and the third part of the waters became bitter after the morning star fell and it defiled the waters which represented the multitudes the waters that represented the majority because they were made bitter they were distorted in their faith their information concerning the living god they were blasphemed and they received the lies of the wormwood and the fourth angel sounded and the third part of the sun was smitten and the third part of the moon and the third part of the stars so is the third part of them was darkened all these that are being defined as the third part they define the fraction which was darkened by the reason of the star which fell and the day was not shown not for a third part of it and the night likewise and i beheld and i heard an angel flying through the midst of heaven saying with a loud voice war war to the inhabitants of the earth by the reason of other voices of the trumpets that were yet to sound all the trumpets that have been blown here they signal destruction but before the first trumpet was a warning that came through the word ministrations all over nations cities provinces and even in different countries and the fifth angel sounded and i saw a star again fall from heaven unto the earth and to him was given the key of the bottomless pit the star that was given the liberty to darken the third part of the earth is not the star that was given the key of the bottomless pit those are two different gods and those two different gods they are part of the other five foreign gods who are signified each and every destruction which they were unleashed upon the earth for represented by the seven trumpets that are blown to signal a warning of the wrath that they shall cause upon the earth 
and he opened the bottomless pit and there arose a smoke out of the pit as the smoke of a great furnace and the sun and the air were darkened by reason of the smoke of the pit and there came out of this smoke locusts upon the earth I explained about these locusts which I explained that these were not just creatures but these were inventions that were unleashed upon the earth and unto them were given power as the scorpions of the earth have power and it was commanded that they should not eat the grass which represents a certain multitude a certain tribe that they should not eat the grass of the earth and neither anything neither any tree but only those which have not the seed of the living God over their foreheads. So the grass, the tree, it represents two different tribes, which is the tribe of the oil and the tribe of the wine, those that are anointed and those that are saved by his blood, those that are sustained as the tree and the grass by the nature of their sustenance the trees and the grass they don't need men to water them they need the grace and the mercy and to them it was given that they should not kill them, but that they should be tormented five, five months, which is a season. And their torment was as the torment of a scorpion, as strikes a man. And that season is a season of pain, misery, destruction. And in those days men shall seek death and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. And the shapes of the locusts, were like unto horses prepared unto battle. I explained these being fighter planes, not only being fighter planes, but machines that are already invented and in machines that are upcoming, prepared for battle. And they had crowns on their heads, which were gold and their faces were like the faces of men why because they were being invented by men and the faces that look like were the faces of men represent one of the creatures amongst the four creatures that is the face like the face of a man means every world war destruction will be initiated by men the weapons of destructions and the weapons of mass destruction they will be invented by men and anything that is described as the face of a man is the creation that represents humanity and they had hair as the hair of women and their teeth were breastplates as it were breastplates of iron and the sound of their wings which are the wings of a plane the wings of jet fighters was is the sound of many chariots and many horses running to a battle and the details like unto scorpions the tails represented the tails of the planes which were stinging and their power was to hit men for five months many that it there shall be wars in the air, wars on the ground, and the tails shall be stinging. There shall be torments, there shall be sufferings due to destructions. And they had a king over them, which is the angel of the bottomless pit. The angel of the bottomless pit is none other than Satan, none other than Lucifer and the other five fallen gods, the devil. All these are the seven characters of Lucifer the devil, 
signified by every trumpet blown. One war is part, past, and behold, they come towards after, and ye they and after, one destruction after the other, and the sixth angel sounded the trumpet, and I heard a voice from the four horns of the golden altar which is before God, saying to the sixth angel, which at the trumpet, loose the four angels which are bound in the great river Euphrates. And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour, a day and a month, and a year for just to slay the third part of men. The four angels representing the four corners of the earth, they were loosed again to represent a destruction on the four corners of the earth. And the number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000, and I hated the number of them. And I saw the horses in the vision. And them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire. And the heads of the horses were as the heads of the lions, which are the kings of the earth. And out of their mouth issued fire, smoke, and brimstone. This was now the war at Armageddon, a spiritual war, a war between saints and unbelievers, a war between Christians and sinners, a war between angels and demons. By these three was the third part of men killed by fire and by smoke and by the brimstone which issued out of their mouth. For their power is in their mouth and in their tails, for their tails were like unto the serpents and they ate heads. And they were given the authority to hate the earth. And the rest of the men which were not killed by these plagues, yet repented not of the works of their hands. And they should not worship the devils, the idols of gold, silver, and anything that can lead them astray. In Revelation 10, I saw another mighty angel, which I believe was the seventh angel, coming down from heaven, clothed, with a cloud and a rainbow was upon his head, and his face was as it was the face that was lightened up in glory like the sun, and his feet as pillars of fire. This angel representing the face of Yeshua, and he had in his hand a little book, and he set his right foot upon the sea and his left foot on the earth and cried with a loud voice as when a lion roareth representing Yeshua that sits in the highest places and when he cried seven thunders uttered their voices and when the seven thunders had uttered their voices represented by the seven trumpets I was about to write and I heard a voice from the earth and saying seal up those things which the seven thunders uttered and write them not. Meaning that inside those seven thunders, there was information that was sealed, that was classified. And the angel which I saw stood upon the sea and upon the earth lifted up his hand to the heaven and swore by him that lives forever, who created the heaven and the things that are upon the earth and everything which is under the sea and those things which are here on the dry surface of the earth that there should be no time anymore this was the message of the last days this was the final message the last trumpet the last trumpet that blows is the last trumpet that blows and signals the coming of christ but in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of God should be finished. As he has already declared to his servants, the prophets, the same season that was there of preachers in form of evangelists, apostles, prophets, the revelator, bishops, the same season where they ascended to preach to give the world an awareness 
that same season shall come again in another season. And the voice which I ate from heaven spake unto me and said, Go and take the little book which is open in the hand of the angel, which stands upon the sea and upon the earth. And I went unto the angel and said unto him, Give me the little book and said unto me, Take it and eat it up. And it shall make thy belly bitter. Why? Because the word is not sweet. The word of boldness, the word that is preaching the last wrath, is the word which is being represented by the end time message. But it shall be sweet as honey, as the sweetness is, is defined by the fruits of salvation. And I took the little book out of the angel's hand and ate it up. And it was in my mouth sweet as honey. And as soon as I had eaten it, my belly was bitter. And he said, Thou must prophesy again before many peoples and many nations. This was the second world, the second season, before the second destruction, before the second resurrection, and before the last coming of Christ. Child of God, I hope you have understood the significance of the seven trumpets unfolded and unleashed by the seven seals the destruction that is going to be brought upon this earth by the seven angels but we have been given the leopard as the preachers of the word to preach unto the saints the believers and the unbelievers the voice unto the seven churches will continue ministering unto the seven tribes of fire the seven golden candlesticks they are going to continue lightening up every ministry that falls under the seven spirits of God and the seven spirits of God have been assigned unto the seven preachers and the voice unto the seven angels that escorted the seven preachers is already here the voice representing the last messenger before the last destruction. Child of God, the seven trumpets have already been blown before this last seventh trumpet. The warning has been heated. Repent or perish in the name of Jesus.